Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video and welcome back to Green Mangoes. If you're new to the channel, please help and subscribe to the channel. Join me in my adventure in the backyard garden. For today, I'll be making a video sharing with you what to do with tree root suckers. And these are not fun. Uh, they take away energy from your trees and uh, you have to keep snipping it. For today, I'll be showing you how to snip it, get rid of it. Um, but however, they will come back. There are, there are methods out there, there are um, products out there for you to uh, paint on the root so it prevents from, from going again. But uh, I'll probably make a later video uh, showing you with that kind of information. But for today, I'll show you why we snip it and how to do it. First, uh, check out my pomegranates. Look at how uh, big and delicious they are. Not as productive as uh, as last year, but uh, I pruned the the pomegranates to the to the smaller size, and uh, with that, it has given me a, a great result. Where the pomegranate is, is pretty large. Look at that. This is the fifth time I've pruned, I mean, I've been snipping these root suckers this year. And um, they keep growing back. Pomegranates do very well in, in the, uh, the desert here, here in Las Vegas. And uh, they thrive very, very uh, fast and amazing during the summer months. And as you can see, there's a lot of suckers growing out of uh, the trunk of this uh, pomegranate here. I do water this pomegranate uh, in the summer months once a day in addition in addition to the the dripper on the bottom so it gets a lot of water and uh, I fertilize it often as well so it grows a lot of suckers but we don't want this to be taking energies away from the the tree and producing delicious sweet pomegranates the second problem we got and uh, I should have done this earlier, but uh, there's a lot of rocks around the trunk of the tree. I should be mulching this around the, the trunk of the tree instead. And the benefits of mulching is it helps retain moisture um, around the trunk as well as uh, uh, over time. The, the organic matters like leaves and wood chips will break down and compost and uh, give nutrients to the trees. So two things I'll do today. One is to snip off these suckers, and then uh, I will also remove these rocks and uh, mulch around the, the trunk. So now it's time for me to snip off these branches, uh, these suckers off the, the trunk. And to do that, I'll be using my favorite pruner here today. This is a, a Corona pruner that I use very often around my yard and to uh, to do the job whenever I, I do the pruning or snipping off the branches and uh, if you'd like to give it a try this pruner is very affordable and it does very well uh, the blades stay very sharp and uh, uh, I really like it give it a try uh, it's a Corona Corona BP24250 so with that I mean I'll try to dig out some of the the rock and the mold on the bottom here and try to snip off as much as possible from the bottom and be careful because um, pomegranates for, uh, particularly have thorns so that could potentially harm you but uh, every tree is so different I try to cut it at the very very bottom and uh, For every tree, you only want one main leader to go up and produce fruit for you. Um, 
you don't want to have multiple leaders and what essentially this I mean this won't get any big I mean it will, it will get bigger but you don't want like 20 30 different leaders a uh, man a uh, man trunk to go up for for some some exception you could have two or three uh, man leaders going up but this is too much it doesn't do anything much more than taking the energies and the nutrients from uh, from the the root and the tree to produce uh, bigger fruit and uh, delicious fruit uh, to yield more fruits for you so just go ahead and trim them off as much as possible as they as they continue to um, to grow up just continue trim out throughout the year it, if you do it uh, every once in a while it doesn't take long about five ten minutes or so um, I think next year I would like to try uh, using some of those uh, um, those paint to paint on the the root of the, I mean the trunk of, um, of the tree, so it doesn't grow out this circus. But uh, I'll, I'll do this fruit this year. Next year, I'll change it. Try this. As you can see, it only takes a couple minutes. And again, this is like my fifth time this year already. Try to remove as much as possible. That's it. That's how you do it, and uh, that will help your tree produce more fruits and uh, uh, gain more energies to to uh, bring it to the top of the tree. So next, I'll be removing some of this rock and put some some mulch on here, uh, the the leaves that are falling around my yard, and um, help retain some moisture on the bottom. So these are the leaves I got around the yard and I'll add them, them to the trunk here and uh, over time this will break down and turn into compost and provide nutrients to my uh, tree. They also help retain the moisture on the bottom so it doesn't get dry out in the summer months and it protects the trunk from being from frostbite during the winter months. So there's a lot of benefits to mulching your trees. If you can do it as early, please do it as soon as possible. So that's it. So that's it everyone and uh, the sun has come up and the lightning is turning back now so I'll, I'll wrap up the video. That's all I have to do, uh, snip them off and, and mulch them 
make sure they don't come back and if they do just continue doing it and that will help your trees thrive and grow and produce a lot of fruits for you thank you for watching the video today if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and see you next time